I'm building a log cabin, or actually we're building a log cabin, but I do most of the work. After excavating the soil by hand, and a bunch of days with a rock drill, as I didn't know there was a big rock in the middle, I gathered a few stones from the land, and built a foundation. Plus pillars for the terrace. Then for the first time working with a chainsaw I felled some trees for the main construction, then pushed them out of the forest, debarked them and built the main frame. And after that the roof. I have a challenge, let me show you. I really love these wooden posts and I want to see them from the inside and from the outside but because they're not so thick, if I want to see them on both sides I cannot put a thick insulation in between. I bought these 4 cm or 1.5 inch uh, insulation plates and uh, I think this is good enough, uh, especially for the small pieces. Also gotta remember I am in Spain and this part of Spain it doesn't even freeze. So uh, yeah. Let's install them. I think she's got it. So this one is in. I wanted to make sure that it's here exactly in the middle. This is a uh, five centimeter here. And five centimeter here. Good. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications of future videos. I think that's looking pretty good. I still had this thing, which is actually for cement, but I think it, it will also drill a hole in this. Let's try it out. I was originally planning to fill up these walls with glass bottles and then uh, cement, white cement, lime, sand mix, but I changed my mind. It actually seems really cool to um, put those stones in and then have, uh, yeah, and then put the same cement mix but then stones around it and then all the way up. I think it's going to look beautiful. That looks pretty good, I would say. Yeah. Nice. I, uh, I wanted to comment on something. Uh, some people commented, why do you have uh, 
straps on your building i mean it's not really necessary anymore but um i graduated economics not building like in my family uh, if somebody had to install a water tap it was more likely the hot water would come out of the cold water instead of how it's supposed to be that actually happened a few times so i uh, i do my research and i am uh, most of the time pretty convinced i do a good job but uh i don't know why not take some precautions good morning i've made a selection of what i'm going to use now first i'm going to use this glass and i'm going to use this and in the last video i had already cut all this over there but uh, i need a little bit shorter length right now because i'm not working with wood yet so this is what i'm gonna use gonna make right now so these ones i'm just going to wash um this is 26 centimeters so that's uh eight and a half inch there's just one um challenge with this as you see the center point is not in the middle i'll show you why that's a challenge when the two pieces of glass would have been the same length the cut would be exactly in the middle and the center point would be in the uh, middle of the insulation however because one piece is shorter um the center the center point will be outside of the insulation so when i put um, mortar around it then it will fully close it off and no air will be possible anymore to go into the glass and apparently uh, if no air is possible to go into the glass then because of the heat uh, and cold changes uh, the glass might break that's why i wanted to add a bunch of these rebars anyway just to hold um, the cement on this side together with cement on the other side so i'll just add a rebar uh, a little bit a part of a rebar on top um, to connect them together and i put some tape around it and then uh, at least there will be uh, some air still possible um, to go into the insulation i'm gonna wash these pots and i do that with a bit of chloride because uh, apparently it is necessary to prevent mold i have really no idea how much i should use It only needs to be this size shorter than uh, all the other ones that I cut. So I'm just gonna screw this little piece of wood against here. If you're watching this video because you think, oh cool, I wanna make something similar, then cutting glass with an angle grinder, you should not underestimate. I wear uh, safety glasses, I wear a chainsaw helmet over it for the glass splinters that they don't hit my face, um, protective ear things, gloves, I wear a shawl around my neck so the glass splinters don't hit my neck, uh, which they will if you don't do that. Like cutting it with an angle grinder is definitely one of the fastest ways, but definitely not one of the safest ways. So if you are going to do this yourself, please be careful. And in case you wonder, this is just a normal diamond disc, which I bought for two euro fifty, three dollar at a Chinese shop.
what went wrong there. I need a few pieces more, so let's get them. I only need another six or so, but I'm sure I need more in the future. Now I'm going to put a bunch of screws in. I guess Nils would have done the same job because uh, cement doesn't bond to, uh, to wood, but it does bond to metal. So the day is over this is the result for now uh, whether you like it or not is obviously your own taste I tried to create something which is um, structure because it's kind of level all but also a little bit chaotic because the left is um, very different from the right but still there's uh, there are patterns in it so you can kind of make out of it what you want to make out of it I'm very curious how this is going to look like when it's in cement with little stones in between. Hopefully tomorrow, I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take.
have a few tiny open spaces, so I'll put some pur in it. Good morning. First thing today is to cut away uh, the foam. Sometimes I don't know why I studied economics, uh, working inside in a building the whole day, which I did, but uh, this is way more fun.
I was very wrong when I thought that I could do them in one day. How far am I? Like one sixth, one seventh or something? Well, from all of them. It starts to look nice. It's getting too dark for my camera. I'll show you tomorrow. end of day two it's definitely gonna take a bit longer as I uh, anticipated um, oh by the way I covered all the wood because it's going to rain uh, coming week yeah well starting to come along did that today on all sides yeah I think it's going to look really nice when it's done trying to make one video per week and <laughs> only the work with the cement not even cutting the bottles or putting them in only the work with the cement and the stones has cost me three days from sunrise to sunset so I'm not exactly sure if I can actually finish it for this video let me show you how far I am. Look, still have to do that. Okay guys, I wanted to finish it by working the whole night because tomorrow I have to do another job and then I need to finish the video. But this is just ridiculous. I just, I, I will, even if I would do it, uh, I would never be able to finish it. It's too much work. Uh, I am, hey, I am, physically exhausted I'm mentally happy but I'm physically exhausted and nobody of you expects me to finish it for this video you guys didn't even know I was going to do this so uh, you have to wait for the next video oh by the way uh, a bunch of you guys commented that I'm wearing the wrong mask you want to come here come um, so uh, I promise you for the next video I will have a better mask to work with concrete see you next time A big thanks to my patrons who make it possible for me to keep making these videos. If you'd like to become a patron too, check out the link.